<sighs> okay. Alrighty. This video is probably more for me than it is for you. But then again, you won't know unless you keep watching. Hi, my name is Matthew Marku, and this is Trail Mix with Pure Witness Ministries. Now, I'm sure that you know what it means to be a morning person or a night owl, but I feel like I'm a bed person. Like, I could spend all day in my bed. I just love the feeling of having my covers on me, and <clears throat> ah, it's just the best. Now, whether you're a night owl, a morning person, or a bed person, the first thing in the morning you're faced with is a decision. Right off the bat, do I get up because my alarm went off or do I hit snooze and try to get those extra few minutes of sleep? Well, one of my favorite saints, I have a lot of favorite saints, Saint Jose Maria Escriva has something to say about this and he calls it the heroic minute. He said, the heroic minute, it is the time fixed for getting up without hesitation, a supernatural reflection and up here you have a mortification that strengthens your will and does no harm to your body. Conquer yourself each day from the very first moment, getting up on the dot at a fixed time without yielding a single moment to laziness. If, with God's help, you conquer yourself, you will be well ahead for the rest of the day. It is so discouraging to find oneself beaten at the very first skirmish. In basic words, the time you set your alarm for is the time you get up. And with God's help, you get up and you win the first battle of the day. Now, I definitely struggle with hitting the snooze button when my alarm goes off and I try to grasp those extra few minutes of sleep. But really, I'm just giving in to laziness and letting myself get beaten at the first skirmish. But on the days, where I actually get up when my alarm goes off and I have that heroic moment, those days are always set for success. But how can we actively implement this into our lives? Because rising when our alarm goes off sounds easy enough, but if it were easy, there would be no need for the snooze button to even exist. So people use it because it's there, or they set an alarm and they have a second alarm 10 minutes afterwards, and maybe even a third and fourth alarm. So how do we live out this heroic moment? Well, here are a few ways to start living it. Number one, pray about it the night before. Our wills are weak, and our need for God's grace to accomplish even the smallest act of love is needed. So start off the night before by asking God to help you overcome your laziness and rise when your alarm goes off. Number two, don't argue with yourself. Don't like, don't give yourself any room to try and reason your way to needing just a few more minutes of sleep because what happens is you hit snooze and then you get those extra five minutes of sleep just to end up in the same battle as before, except you've already lost once and then you're heading into the the same fight again. So don't try to rationalize hitting the snooze button. It never goes well for you. Number three, get on your knees. From the moment that alarm goes off, turn it off and get on your knees and give the day over to the Lord. There is no better way to start your day than with a victory over our laziness, our flesh and our desires, and then giving thanks to the Lord for that victory. Now, maybe you don't struggle with getting out of bed in the morning because you are far more disciplined than I, but maybe you are like me, someone who's been hitting the snooze button far too many times and you want to change. Maybe give the heroic moment a chance. All right, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, do all the things. I'm Matthew Marku, and from all of us here at Pure Witness Ministries, God bless.